What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to a gameplay preview. This is Phantom Trigger on the PC, also announced for the Nintendo Switch. As always, full disclosure, this copy of the Alpha was provided by the publisher. Now, there is a public Alpha, a one-stage public Alpha. I will have a link down in the description below, as well as the Steam link, etc., etc. But, because I am media... I get a two-stage alpha, and therefore I will be showing off today the second stage of Phantom Trigger, having now beaten the first stage. I certainly have some thoughts here on uh, what is in this game thus far. So, if this game looks super similar to, say, Hyper Light Drifter, uh, I understand where that comparison would come from, uh, but it's a little bit different. So, I finished uh, the first stage, beat the first boss, and I am back here in the hub world. Um, this game, shockingly enough, is not, I repeat, not a thoroughbred roguelike roguelite. That is, there is a story, there is an A to B, it is an action-adventure type deal. Uh, but it does have some form of randomized dungeons. So, most importantly, no permadeath. There are checkpoints, it's a regular video game, and not like... Most of the games I, I look at these days, which are uh, just so many roguelikes. Anyway, I did it. I beat Beetle. He was the first boss. He is done. Uh, and there are definitely a bunch of uh, NPCs here that I'm sure uh, will be part of the story uh, at some point. And uh, I can talk to them and do all their stuff. So, primarily this game is a three-button action combo game type deal, right? So you got X, which is your sword. You got Y, it's your whip. And you got B, which is your giant glowing neon fist thing. And you can chain those together to do different things. Uh, and that part of it I like a lot, right? You can chain, like, pretty much three moves here. You see XXB, XXY, that kind of thing. You can chain them together, uh, and you upgrade those while well, you, you gain experience for those three different parts of your attack. There's your inventory, which I've only gotten one thing so far. Uh, and that's kind of all that's in this build of the game. Now, according to the email, there's five stages. I've beaten one. Uh, this is the Tree Lady. She gives you a sword. Thanks, Tree Lady. Um, and you kind of go talk to these guys, and uh, they may or may not like each other. Uh, but there is a different layer to this story, and I'm curious to see whether or not going into the second stage will unveil that layer. No, it doesn't. Well, we might get a bit of that over the course of this video, uh, where basically you're in the real world, or, you know, our world, and you're getting some kind of operation or something, and then you appear here in this world. So, obviously, a lot of stuff so sh still shrouded in mystery, and this is my first time entering into uh, this snow-filled stage. So these are your basic enemies here, these guys, and they will smash the ground, and uh, when they smash the ground, you'll take damage. So, uh, my biggest complaint, well... I got a handful of them. My biggest complaint thus far is that the 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 hitting of the enemies does not particularly. Oh yes, you, you, also you have a dash. The hitting of the enemies does not particularly feel great. Um, level up there some more. Um, freeze him. It's Y Y there. I was screwing it up. Uh, just the impact. I'm not sure if it's the sound effect or the visual indication or whatever. It doesn't feel good or especially great to knock into enemies, and that's been kind of the most annoying part thus far, is that I don't feel like I'm getting a good feedback loop when I knock into enemies. Um, and so also when you get green here, you can use that green to knock things around, and then, uh, you know, hit combos and chain stuff together. And that part does seem pretty satisfying, but... So far, uh, when they throw a lot of enemies at you, and they will throw a lot of enemies at you, um, it can be annoying. There we go, some burn status. That's pretty good. These little eyeballs here just, just hit them with the whip. Whip it real good. Crack that whip. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my biggest issue, is that it just doesn't... Like, it needs to feel... I'm not sure what the word is here. Crunchier, or just... It's not as satisfying as you would want it to be for the kind of game that it is. Having played other games that have melee in this kind of a camera angle and this kind of video game, just the melee, which is the cr crux of this game, does not particularly feel all that satisfying. 
Uh, so, hopefully they'll get there. Um, it, this, this is just the alpha, so, you know, it's definitely uh, room for improvement, if nothing else. Punch, punch, punch! Oops. And then, here we go. The real world. Stan, you know why you're here? No, I don't. Your wife said you didn't know who you were last night. I'm sorry, I don't recall. Had you ever imagined being someone else? Who didn't? Who doesn't? Who were you, Stan? A painter. A president. The usual. Was there anyone else in your dream? You know, people. Does it matter? Somebody imaginary? Are you suggesting that I'm schizophrenic? We're just talking, Stan. Just talking. As a kid, I wanted to be a hunter. But I was a kid. I didn't want to kill any animals. So my friend was this big crocodile. And then back into the mystical world of wherever the hell we are. And uh, trying to avoid getting shot and stabbed and, you know, hit by these uh, creatures, as it were. So, they'll get deactivated sometimes, or they'll not activate, which is useful. Um, and there are these crystals here that you can punch. So, my biggest issue with the combat is that these enemies hit pretty hard, right? And you take some pretty serious damage from, like, one hit. And the only health you get back is right here at these checkpoints. But the checkpoints are not nearly often enough. Uh, so you'll find yourself getting in these rooms where they, they trap you in a room in, like, a, a combat scenario. You'll survive. You'll have, like, this much health left. Walk five feet to the left. One enemy. Bam. Dead. Guess what? Whole thing over again. So, the gameplay loop has been... I don't know. It's, it's not been exactly what I'm, I'm looking for in this kind of a game. But that's just me. Uh, perhaps... I mean, it's got a great look, even though the, the, the look is very reminiscent of another game. Uh, it does have a great look, and uh, it mostly feels okay to play. But just, I think if they had better feedback on your actual hits in the combat, uh, would be nice. And if the checkpointing was a bit more, I don't know, lenient on you. Uh, but again, alpha, right? So this all could change tomorrow. This all could change, you know, next week. You, you just don't, you, you just don't know. Uh, what was the one I did before? The, um, XXB. There we go. Nope, I got hit there. So yeah, learning the combo system, uh, I would imagine is the most satisfying part of this game. But, um, I don't know. The fact that the enemies are just there, and running past them a lot of times, there's kind of no consequence, because they don't drop anything. There's, there's no real incentive to fight the enemies if they aren't going to help you with health, or gold, or coins, or, you know, I hate these things. Or something, right? Uh, I found no real incentive to want to fight enemies if I don't really have to. And perhaps that's part of the game, I don't know. Um, but so far it's been very, just, not satisfying. Uh, also, just as a side note, on that first boss, the boss spawns minions, I beat the boss, the minions did, did not immediately die. Like, what kind of video game nonsense is that? Usually in most video games, if a boss spawns minions, you beat the boss, the minions die. That's just, that's video games 101. And it, they were four of these things, and I freaking hate these things. So, you can imagine I was kind of annoyed. I still beat it, obviously, I'm, I'm here in stage two. But, but yeah, so these guys here, like, I could fight these guys. I could, but I don't know why I should. Just walk past them. Keep on moving. So we're gonna get into here. Here we are. Now we are in this combat room where I must fight these guys and they're gonna give me a hard time and they will spawn more of them and it will be, uh, nope, got hit by a laser. Now, think about how far back my last checkpoint was if I die here. Just think about that. And there's more guys. And there's the worst guys. And there's the guys. And I'm dead. And I'm dead. That happened a lot. It took me a bit to get past uh, that first stage uh, last night and this morning. Uh, you know, I'm thankful there are checkpoints. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Hey, you. Hey, yourself. Rook is behind this door here. I'm assuming that's the second boss, I would imagine. I know the way in. Well, let's go. It doesn't work this way. I know it's there, 
But I need to make it. Ants. What? That doesn't make any sense. Let me explain. Bring me a wick, some cardboard, and nitroglycerin. All right, Wily Coyote. Relax there. Um, so we're gonna head over this way instead and uh, do some of this. Oh, I missed. Again, I'm not great at this game, uh, but I was good. I was good enough to, to beat that that first boss. So, I'm not, oh, burn damage. I'm not terrible. I, I I could be comboing harder and better. But honestly, uh, it's just... The thing you gain for real is experience and your three different disciplines on your hand. I get that. I'm saying that it doesn't really seem that important when you're playing it here. It's like, oh yeah, okay, you get experience. But honestly, I feel like I'm not doing any more damage than I was originally. It's still taking about the same amount of hits than it did an hour ago, you know? I'm still kind of hitting these guys a bunch of times... Freezing them, hitting them, freezing them, hitting them, freezing them, hitting them. And, you know, they die. And whatever. So, those guys are new. Oh, those guys are new. Oops. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I get it. You, 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 you gain levels on your hand parts. Okay, sure, fine. But, honestly, it doesn't feel... Like, if the combat was more fun to play... I'd be 110% down with this game. Uh, and, again, it's alpha. So perhaps they'll get there. But as of right this second, playing this stuff, checkpoint, uh, it's, I don't know. It's, it's good, but it's not great. And I'm hoping that when it comes out, it will be great. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at with my thoughts on this thing. But again, walking on by. Walking on by. Nope, sorry. Peace out, you guys. I don't need ya. I don't want ya. And that seems important. For, oh. Nope, and now I'm trapped here. I've made my bed, and now I must lie in it. Clearly. Bunch of guys, bunch of guys. Wanna, wanna dash, wanna dash. Not happening. Yeah, I'm gonna die here again. So I think this has been a pretty reasonably decent overview of what's in this current alpha build of the game. Um, if you want to play the first stage, it is on uh, their website. Sign up for the mailing list, and you will get access to that first uh, alpha build stage. And, you know, mess around and see if you like it. Because, like, I'm kind of at a halfway point whether or not I actually like playing this. Um, and so, I don't know. I may end up, you know, playing more of the full build and saying, hey, this is pretty good. Or I may not. Uh, that's all kind of... Up in the air. Ah, oh, here we go. That was nice of you to call your wife, Stan. I came on my own. Stan doesn't take the treatment seriously. I could die. How can I get more serious? I wanted to continue our chat about imaginary friends, Stan. What does that have to do with this? It may be a sign of something serious. I actually remember one more friend. I didn't exactly woo you, Pam, right? No, you didn't. I asked you out first. Well, we met long before that in college, and I had a lot of dreams about you. That's not creepy at all. Romantic dreams? Them too. But mostly we're going on adventures in rainforests. That's so sweet. That's why you had ant antennas. Okay. That explains that. Anyway, I think I've rambled on here quite enough. Here's a mirror that gets me something. I'm not entirely clear what this does, but I've been doing it. Um, and it does a thing. So this is Phantom Trigger. Shockingly enough, no guns. No bullets. But it's Phantom Trigger. I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. And I'll see you next time. Right here on this channel. And I'm out.